Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can accept payments using the new PayPal widget from Elementor and you won't actually need any complicated softwares like WooCommerce to start receiving your payment. This widget enables you to collect donations, recurring payments or even single product purchases. So now let's jump straight into the video and get started. So the number one thing you have to know is that you have to actually have the Elementor Pro version of 3.2 and above. Just like you see over here, I have Elementor 3.21 and that way you will be able to actually have the PayPal widget in your widgets area, just like this. So to get started, I'm going to simply drag my widget to my column section. Once I have my PayPal widget over here, I get the option to actually start setting it up by adding the email address for your business account where those payments will be received. So in this case, I'll add my email and also make sure that you choose a transaction type. So this is going to be a donation and what will appear on the card statements or in your PayPal once someone makes this donation. So here it will be pledge donations and i can add an sku or the stock keeping unit i don't have any currently and over here you can choose a donation amount so over here i'm going to choose any amount because people always pledge different amounts you can choose the currency in which you want to receive your donations and also down here you have the option to make changes to the button pledge any amount and you realize this is the text that is going to be displayed over here in the button I can further center my button, I can choose the icon, I'll search over here an icon that will appear on my widget or my button, so I'll still use the same icon or you can upload your own icons. You may choose to have the icon before or after, I'll leave it to be before. I can add the spacing for the icon from the text, so I'll just leave it at maybe 10. You can add a URL where people will be directed once the donations are complete or once they are done making the transaction that URL can be pasted over here it can be your home page it can be to a thank you page or whatever page you want and also we can enable a sandbox that is basically an account that enables you to test out these features before you roll them out so you can always add your sandbox account over right here and that email address you get it from PayPal and once you are done please make sure that you switch off your sandbox account so that your payments can go live and over here we have the option to set that once someone clicks on this button it will open them up in a new tab the what that actually helps you is that you don't lose your visitors from never coming back to your website you want that once they are done making the transaction they can always have their tab still open in the browser to come back and check out other things you're offering on your website. You can also make changes to your error messages over here by customizing them. That is in case your website visitors goes into issues once they are trying to complete their payment. Under the style, you have the option to style up this button by changing the hover, background colors, typography, and even the colors for your custom or error messages. So in this case, if I, for example, want to change the background of this button, I can just click over here or I can use the global color options. For example, when I click over here, I can choose from my global colors and then I'll choose my background color to that color and the hover color can be another background color, which is over right here. And the text color will be white. So I can just make this to be this color, which is one of my global colors and the same over here. So that's how it will look like. Currently, you can make changes to your paddings for your button. The padding actually adds more space to all the button inner content. So I'll just add like a 20. So to remove uh, the rounded borders over here, I'll simply just unlink the border radius and I'm good to go. Okay, now I can now move my button to be a little bit up. What I'm going to do is select the button, come to advanced, and I'm going to come over here and link the margin, and I'll give it a negative margin of 80. Boom, there it goes. I can just simply copy this same button, and I'll come over here to this other column, and I'll paste this button, and I'm going to do simply a few changes, changing the button text and also the donation amount. Here it is 50. 
dollars so i'm going to come over here come to the content of the button same email and here it's going to be a subscription because you, people who are using this option they're actually going to be paying a subscription every month or every year or every other day or every other week depending on what you want so over here you can say family donations the price is going to be fifty dollars monthly but you can make it daily or weekly or yearly and we are going to make it auto renewal that means that paypal will automatically charge the donor this amount every end of the month for the button or you can say recurring donation okay now this looks good now these people will be able to actually donate 50 dollars every month next we're going to add a button for single product purchases that you may have on your website or store so what you're going to do is i can just simply come over here and grab my paypal widget i'll add it over here and i'll simply add my paypal account of the paypal business account where you'll be receiving the payments and this is a checkout transaction and over here i'm going to just give the item name so it's going to be beginner toolkit 2021 and it's basically 001 or the stock keeping unit or this is the first product i'm having in the store and the price is going to be 19 so it's 19 usd quantity is one whatever they are buying is only one product the shipping price is zero since it's a digital product and no taxes for the button i'm going to center it i can still choose the icon that i want to appear here and i can add spacing let me add spacing of 10 and i didn't forget about the text to appear on the button itself i just want to leave it at default because i want people to be able to purchase this product there and then and under the additional options we want that once someone is done with the transaction they are redirected straight to this toolkit so that they are able to download it so i'll add the url to the product where your website visitors will be redirected after making their payment and here you can set up that your website visitor will actually open up in a new tab once they are heading over to paypal to process their payment next to the style option you can obviously make changes to your button text by switching over the typography and the colors and the background and all that stuff in this case i'm only interested in adding padding 30 works best and i'm going to position this button to be just over here by selecting the button i'm going to come here to advance i'm going to come to positioning and i am going to simply come over here to width make it in line and the position is going to be absolute and then i'm going to move my button from over here to this section so i can just simply drag it to here or you can play around with the knobs over here moving it up or bottom or sideways anyway i prefer to use the drag feature and there i'm good to go so i'm simply now able to update i can preview this page so it looks like this is for the pledges and this is for the recurring donations please make sure that you check out the responsive settings of all these buttons so anyway once you are done you simply update over here come back here to your website and simply reload and you see over here everything looks fine and neat so for example if i click over here i'm going to be taken to a new tab and i'll be requested to log in so that i'm able to actually make this payment which is actually a recurring payment and if i'm interested in buying this book if i click over here i'll be taken straight to the payment page and i'll be paying that amount i simply just have to log in to paypal and i am able to make the payment make sure that the account you used over here is actually able to receive payments and make sure that donations are accepted in your region through paypal that's how you can actually accept paypal payments using the new paypal widget in your elementor website thank you so much for watching if you found this of value please give it a thumbs up and if you're into the channel please don't forget to subscribe have a good time and goodbye